Wow. First video of the of the new decade. 2020. That's uh that's cool. Anyways, I I've never actually shouted out my Twitter, I think. So I'm gonna do that. Uh follow me on Twitter, you know, at something else YT. You get your phone, go on the app, type in my name, pick the Pick the me with the most uh, followers. Okay, well, you know what to do. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. I hate being sick. Almost as much as I hate being robbed. But you know what sucks even more than being sick or being robbed? Being robbed while you're sick. By an old lady. Let me elaborate. November 20th, 2019, around 12 in the afternoon, I was laying on my couch dying of the flu. Snot dripping from my nose, head pounding like a bass drum, and stomach craving anything of sustenance. I thought to myself, Huh, I should probably eat something. Only problem was, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know how to grocery shop, and on top of that, I couldn't hold anything down. Like the mustard and bread sandwich I tried for breakfast. Wasn't that bad. Wheat bread. So I went on my good old friendly neighborhood corporation Google to sell my soul away and search up things that won't make me vom while dying to death. Many theoretical moons pass and I finally stumble upon something I wanted to hear because everything else suggested by doctors sucked. Pfft, what do they know? My research showed that some people when they're feeling under the weather decide to go out and drink a smoothie called the Orange Sea Booster by uh... uh... Let's call them juice place. <laughs> the drink supposedly is like a wonder drug that has a great amount of nutrients and vitamins, which is amazing during flu season. And, get this, can also cure cancer. That's 100% fact. Trust me, I'm not making this up. Juice place does not cure cancer. I made it up. Please don't sue me. I was too sick and disoriented to actually drive to the place, so I decided to use an app on my phone that was like a taxi, but not, and instead of bringing you places, it brought you food. Let's call it... The Better Postmates. Now, this is supposed to be the easiest thing on the planet. You order food for a randomly selected driver to pick up, the randomly selected driver then picks up the food, and your food is delivered to you by said randomly selected driver that was randomly selected. Simple. It never failed me before. Until, well, until that day. I ordered my one smoothie, and the estimated time of arrival said it was going to be like 15 minutes, latest being 30. Which, holy crap, that's fast. Especially by my randomly selected driver that, from the app's driver info, is just a sweet looking old lady named, uh, let's call her Margaret, driving her... <laughs> Her cute little gray Nissan Versa. So I pop a squat on my couch, burrito fly myself in blankets, and suffer horribly while I wait for my guardian angel, Margaret, to bring me the liquid nectar of rejuvenation. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Fifteen minutes goes by, and I sit there patiently thinking to myself, huh, I wonder where my drink is. Eh, it did say thirty minutes at the latest, so <laughs> it's fine. Tick, tock, tick. Tuck. Another 15 minutes goes by and I get a notification on my phone that my order has finally been picked up. Okay, well, at least it wasn't picked up a while ago. Melted smoothie is not my forte. Tick. Tuck. Tick. Tuck. An hour goes by. Margaret? What the fuck? Keep in mind, I'm incredibly hungry and extremely ill, and now I have to go find out where my order is because apparently Margaret has better things to be doing. Luckily for me, Margaret was trackable. Within the app, there's a section where by the press of a button, I can pinpoint my driver's exact location in real time. So, uh, I did that. Which, if you think about it, is incredible technology. Really puts the mind at ease knowing exactly how far your smoothie is at all times. Well, <laughs> until you find out that for the past hour after pickup, your order has just been cruising around a Target parking lot seven miles away from the original pickup spot, the opposite way of your house. Okay, I like juice, I guess. So I called up customer support, canceled my order, and suffered horribly. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but before I hung up on Rahad, the customer support person, he asked me if there was anything else he could help me with. I replied, no, I think I'm good. Just gonna reorder and hope I don't get the same driver again. <laughs> and we both laughed as he replied back to me, <laughs> yeah, the odds of you getting the same driver again are slim chance to none. Like 1%, not in a million years. You are incredibly handsome, Adam. I love you. I love him too, but there were pressing matters ahead that needed to be taken care of. I wanted my orange seed booster. So I ordered thinking, there's no way I'll get the same driver again. Right? Imagine if I did though, that sucks so much ass. But it would be funny. Probably not during this part though, cause it's more of a build up for a perfectly timed punchline that's most likely gonna occur in about three, two, why? I didn't get the same driver. Is what I would have said if I didn't get the same driver, but I did get the same driver! Timing! Is everything, people! But apparently Margaret doesn't get that because she decided to take just as long the second time! Margaret, you'll never be a comedian! This time, though, she took a different approach with her bit. Instead of driving around somewhere else the complete opposite way of the place, she instead thought to herself, Eh, that's a waste of gas. So I'll just wait here in the parking lot of the place for an hour, cause why not? Margaret, honey, listen. I hate you. Still dying to death, I decide to once again call up customer support to cancel my order, but this time, Rahad had some bad news explaining that adam my love i'm sorry but since it's the second time if we cancel your order again you won't be able to get a refund technically you weren't supposed to get a refund the first time you canceled your order but because i love you so much i hooked you up with that good good i was defeated the old bag had won sneaky way to uh to get free food huh margaret wait out the clock get the person to cancel, and boom, no pay and eat away. Gotta admit, way to play this system, plus 10 respect! Accepting my defeat, I thanked Rahad for his help, ended our call, hung up our portrait on the wall, and prepared to just go get it myself. It's only seven minutes away, it's a bright and sunny day, and I have plenty of gas. Literally nothing could go wrong at this point, except if I like sneezed on my windshield or something and crashed my car. <laughs> I sneezed on the windshield and crashed my car. Well, so it was raining and I had no gas. No one got hurt and no one's car got hit. I just accidentally ran into a dog igloo that was just left in the middle of the road after probably falling off someone's truck. I'm starting to think that Margaret has a lot more power than anticipated. Of course, as soon as I stopped my gasless car, it made like a hashtag YouTuber's brain and stopped working. So in the rain, sick out of my mind and just wanting the orange seed booster from this freaking smoothie place, I got out of my car and pushed it. Like 20 feet, cause despite all my bad luck, I got pretty lucky and broke down right next to a gas station. But don't think this trip was as easy as pushing a two ton car all by myself into a gas station while dying to death, haha <laughs> no! Unfortunately for me, my good luck would soon be outweighed once again by more bad luck due to the fact that after pushing the car up to the gas station, I realized that I didn't have my debit card. <laughs> I really can't catch a break and it freaking sucks. I'm like a, it, it, god dang it, it, it literally says add another joke and punchline. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I guess I never got back to that. <laughs> Anyways. Wait, what's that? Ah, my phone. Wait, what's this? I said to myself with anticipation. A deus ex machina, but in real life? Wow. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> 25 bucks appeared in my wallet suddenly, and you know what? <laughs> I was gonna take it. I honestly don't know where the money came from. I literally just got lucky. So, 20 bucks for gas and 5 bucks for smoothie, cause mother fricker, I'm getting that goddamn OJ! Of course, with every goal, there comes obstacles to get in your way. 
the cashier. The only thing now stopping me from getting to my destination and drinking my life juice is this freaking cashier. Oh, would you look at that? Good news. There was no line. It's just me. And whom I'm assuming's name is like Ted or something. So, I walk up to said Ted and hand him the bread. Can I get 20 on four? I ask, sliding over the dough. He then looks at me, takes my money, and replies, For here or to go. I then found myself an utter fool, mentally and verbally choosing an answer. Motherfucker got me. But fuck him. I quickly ran to my car, pumped my gas, and headed over to the freaking smoothie place so I could finally, after all these hypothetical years, drink my stupid drink and get some goddamn nourishment. Finally, I had arrived. <laughs> <laughs> A heavenly aroma glistened throughout the scene as I stepped closer and closer to the cashier to order my drink. And after the weirdest slash unluckiest day of my life, my mission was a success! I had gotten my drink, therefore it was now time to head back home and die! But as I was walking back to my car, I noticed something in the distance of the parking lot. An ominous figure vibrating a particular sound that reflected the hum of a parked car. Because it was a parked car. A freaking gray Nissan Versa sedan with a sticker on the back that said God's bitch to be precise. The exact same vehicle the app said that... <laughs> Margaret was still sitting on her ass in the parking lot drinking my drink. Presumably the second one. Margaret, <laughs> you freaking monster. <laughs> But you know what? Here's how I see it. Despite this being a you know very crappy thing to do, if somebody's desperate enough to wait a couple hours for a smoothie, I'm pretty sure they needed it more than I did. Plus, it was funny. <laughs> Margaret, I hope you're doing well. I hate you. Stay hydrated. That was the first stay hydrated of the, the new decade. 2020, frick yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope World War III doesn't kill us all.